Hi everyone, thanks for watching our channel. So you've been with us during the recovery of USS The Sullivans, and now we are rehabbing and decontaminating. And thank you for all of your interest, your subscriptions. Uh, ring the bell, subscribe, leave comments, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey everyone, Shane Stevenson uh, here at the Buffalo Naval Park in the Admiral's Quarters. And I bet you this is a video that thousands of you are really going to enjoy. What we are going to be doing is, this is inside USS The Sullivans. And we are going to be showing you five screenshots from the film that I took on the 5th of May, 2022, when I was walking through the ship. Now, I was walking through the ship with Miller Environmental and Bidco uh, Marine Group, and I was highlighting the artifacts, and I was filming as I was going along. This was before the ship had any cleaning uh, to it at all, so the, decon the contamination level is at its highest. Uh, for what you'll be seeing, we're going to show you five screenshots, uh, and it'll be, you know, 10-15 seconds each screenshot. So running through them, you're going to see 2nd Division. 2nd right? Division is the last berthing on the ship. Right at the transom, right at the aft steering, the ship fitter and repair shop. You'll also see E Division, which is just aft of the aft engine room. All right? That had a lot of contaminant in it, and you'll see that in that uh, screenshot. Uh, the aft engine room. Of course, that's uh, the one on the tour route, and you will see uh, the high-pressure turbine uh, and a little bit of the double reduction gear in the lower left-hand corner. Uh, moving forward, you'll see the mess deck, which is on the second platform, up forward. And finally, you will see the CPO mess. Now, that is forward on the first platform, but there was no contaminant at all. You walk on there today, it looked exactly like it did uh, last year and in prior years because no water, no contaminant, nothing slid around from the list. So it looks just like it did, you know, 45 days ago. Uh, I have these three highlighted as kind of an interesting architectural uh, anomaly because all three of these are on the first platform. But of course, as you move forward, the first platform forward goes up. You know, the shear line changes of the main deck, uh, where in the back it stays relatively low. So while you'll see contaminant here, even though the CPO mess is on the first platform, there is nothing. All right, as an archivist, it's important for me to release and offer information. That's what archivists do. They catalog and organize and then make available information for the public. As I said, this was from a video. Uh, I hope to show the video in the future. Uh, I'm absolutely looking forward to doing a side-by-side. -side. Uh, I will be filming. The ship is about 90% clean, and I will be filming uh, the ship after it's cleaned and hopefully be able to do a side-by-side. -side. But as of right now, the compromise for everyone here is screenshots. So for the thousands of our supporters, I hope you enjoy this. This will give you an interesting look at uh, what we were up against with the contaminants. Uh, and then to know that she's 90% clean right now, which is fabulous. Uh, and we hope that you share this information with anyone that you choose to. Please leave a comment down below. We look forward to having uh, your support as always, and we will see you again soon. Thanks very much, everybody.